Good afternoon, Remnant Connection. God bless you. This is Jackie in Oregon. Welcome back, dear friends. Today is prayer time. It's actually Sunday. I usually now uh, cut off the prayer time on Sunday so that in case I have trouble uploading the video, you know, sometimes I don't get them uploaded for six or eight hours. So we are going to pray today for all the names uh, again, I want to remind you, um, if you send a donation through to the post box on the description part of the channel, I will send you a surprise back. You know, I lived in Hawaii for a lot of years, 25, actually, to be exact. So I've had some Kona coffee gift bags made for the larger donations and uh, Hawaiian teas for the smaller donations. Then once you send the cash, I'll give you my information. Amen. So also you can donate on the super thanks, you know, in the comments up at the top by the three dots. Amen. So that's convenient for many people also. I appreciate every dollar you send my way. I, I don't interrupt these videos with ads and I don't have a membership. So um, you know, I'm trying to bless you when you send through the post box, and that way we're not paying the devil his 30%. Amen. So today's prayer card, um, I want you please to remember uh, the ones that we usually remember to pray for. That's Dottie, my prayer partner here on the channel. Uh, Dottie has cancer, so we're just asking for a miracle for Dottie. Bob, our B Vietnam vet, you know, we pray for these folks week after week faithfully. And God is extending Bob's days. He's in congestive heart failure, but he's like the energized bunny. He keeps going and going and going. And that's the Lord. We're thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And also PJ, our little gal uh, who takes care of her elderly parents and uh, she's just not doing well. She's had drastic weight loss in the last I heard. The doctors can't uh, figure out what's going on. So please remember PJ, Bob, and Dottie. And our two praise reports last week, I saw a picture of that little baby, uh, CJ, who was in the hospital. And he's out of the hospital. He looks great. He's a little stinker. He's, I think, about six months old. He just looks great. So we're thankful that those two babies left the hospital. Uh, the grandparents on the other baby road, they were so excited. The little preemie baby got out of the hospital. So both babies got touched. Amen. The lungs, they had problems with their lungs. So we are getting praise reports. And I would encourage you, if we've been praying for you, to please send your praise reports. It encourages all of us. Amen. So those four Three names, if you would remember those, put those on your list. Now we have um, this family here. Amy had a car accident and a concussion. A M Y Amy and Randall R A N D A L L took a fall up in Portland. We we have had these ice storms, so he slipped on the ice and got a concussion. Ended up in the hospital. So Amy and Randall both have concussions. Amy with the car accident. So please pray for those uh, healing, for those. Uh, Amy's a young mom. They both need God to touch them. Thank you, Lord. Amy and Randall. Uh, Monica, M-O-N-I-C-A, is experiencing some satanic attacks. I'm feeling really led to do a video here in the next few days about uh, satanic attacks and witchcraft. You know, we have the Victory Church. The longer we're here, the more we're going to get attacked. And believe me, 40 years plus with the Lord, I've had demons coming at me over the years, which I have witches putting a curse on me. I mean, just remember, we have the Holy Spirit living within us. We take power and authority over these principalities. Amen. So Monica is under attack. And please, you know, plead the blood over Monica. We'll pray about all this as I, after I give you the names. Judy, J-U-D-Y, is a caretaker. So we need to just lift Judy up uh, that she, you know, might have the strength to be that caretaker. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Maybe we're just going to pray right now over those four names. Lord, we pray that you touch uh, Randall and Amy in Jesus' name. Heal their bodies, Lord God. Let these concussions go no further in Jesus' name. 
Monica, every plan and assignment from Satan is broken in the name of Jesus by the blood of the Lamb. In Jesus' name, Lord, lift up Judy, Lord God Almighty, strengthen her that she might do her day as a caretaker. In Jesus' name, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you're going to do a miracle, a continuing miracle on Dottie and Bob and PJ. Lord, we pray you heal their bodies in Jesus' name here. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Holly is uh, is quite sick, a young mom. Her husband is Jimmy. Lord, we lift up Holly to you. We pray healing for her body, that you would encourage Jimmy, Lord God, that you would do a miracle for Holly, this young mother who's so sick. In Jesus' name, healing, Lord. We ask for a miracle in Jesus' name. Pamela, P-A-M-E-L-A. -E Pamela needs to be saved. Uh, Pamela lives in Hawaii. Lord God, we pray divine intervention that she would be saved in Jesus' name. Her daughter, her sister, love you, Lord God. I know they're praying for Pamela, and we stand with them and pray that she would be saved in Jesus' name. And Penny, our mama, uh, Tina, her daughter, Penny's at home in hospice, under hospice care, and we pray that she, her days would be peaceful, God, that her daughter, Tina, Lord God, would be encouraged, Lord God. These ladies love you, Lord God. Penny's going home to be with you, and I pray that you strengthen my precious friend, Tina, Lord God. Be with her through this time, Lord God, as her mother passes, passes away, Lord God, and goes unto you. In Jesus' name, peace, Lord God. Peace and comfort. Thank you, Lord. Sherry, S-H-E-R-R-I, and her son, um, uh, Sherry and her son, uh, her son is, um, pardon me, her son is uh, autistic. And so, pr Lord, I pray that you would lift up this mother and this son, Lord God, that every plan and assignment from the enemy would be broken. Let Sherry take the authority that's in her, Lord God, and come against every demon from hell that would come from other people. In Jesus' name, Lord God, let her release, Lord God, what she must, Lord God. Let her move forward with you in the fire and power and anointing power of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Lord. David's family wrote to me. David died. It was one day last week. David passed away and his family is Rose and the children. They lost this father and Tina and Earl and Lorna. Lord, I pray right now that you touch this these people, this whole family, Lord. They sent me all of their names, Lord God. They're dealing with grief, the loss of David, Lord God. We pray for Rose and the children and the other family members, Lord. Minister your peace, minister your comfort, Lord God. Let them know you are with them in these upcoming days and weeks and months. In Jesus' name, minister to this family. Thank you, Lord. Heather needs healing, Lord, H-E-A-T-H-E-R. We lift up Heather to you, God. We pray healing for her body right now, Lord God. We ask that you do a miracle for Heather, Lord God, to comfort her and shed your peace upon her and she be healed. Denise wants a closer walk, Lord. Draw her by your spirit, the blood covering here, Lord God. Let her move forward in, in faith, Lord. Renew her faith, Lord God. Draw her by your spirit. Thank you, Lord. We have Amy, A-M-Y, and Terry, T-E-R-R-I. Um, Amy is ill. We pray right now, Lord God, uh, this uh, flu like symptoms, these, Lord, this long flu, Lord God, we pray that you touch her body, Lord God, to comfort her, Lord God, that you fill her with your spirit, draw her by your spirit, heal her body in Jesus' name. And Terry, T-E-R-R-I, needs a miracle. She had a stroke. It doesn't sound good. She is a Christian, so that's so awesome. So, Lord, we pray for Terry, Lord God, thy will be done, Lord God. We pray that you would heal her, Lord God, but that you would speak to her, Lord God, as she's in that hospital, Lord God, dealing with these symptoms of stroke, Lord God. We, give, we put her in your hands, Lord God, that you might heal her. Thy will be done in Terry's life, Lord God. And Matthew, 
M-A-T-T-H-E-W. Matthew needs salvation. We lift him up to you, God. And Lord, as we're praying for Matthew, we speak every one of our, uh, our loved ones, Lord God, that needs salvation, Lord God, that needs deliverance, Lord God, that needs to come back to you, Lord God. Open their eyes, Lord God. Let them realize the short the days are uh, being numbered here, Lord God. Open their eyes to their surroundings, to what's happening in nations and people, Lord God. Lord, we pray for Matthew and all of our unsafe family members, our husbands, our children, our grandchildren, Lord God, our nieces and our nephews, Lord God. Lord, we want them all in heaven, Lord God. And Lord, we know that it's each man and it's one decision, Lord God. We pray that they would be down on bandit knees and realize that they fall short each and every day and there's nothing in this that this world can offer them there is no peace there is no comfort lord god it's only you jesus christ of nazareth save our loved ones save our loved ones in jesus name in Jesus' name, and each one listening today, Lord God, each one, Lord God, I pray, God, that you would minister right now. I think there's some that really need to feel your peace and your comfort, Lord God. They've had a hard day, perhaps a hard week, perhaps a hard couple of months. I plead the blood upon them, the blood, Lord God, of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every plan, every assignment is broken in the name of Jesus. I pray you comfort them. I pray they sleep peacefully at night, Lord God. I pray you reveal yourself in deep and new ways, Lord God. And yet I pray that they cling to you, God, that they cling to you with all that they are able, that they cling with all of their might, Lord God. Each and every one of us, Lord God, for these um, days are, are being shortened. These days are not going to get easier. And yet, Lord God, you are in each and every one of our lives in each and every minute and hour and day in Jesus' name. Minister your comfort, your peace, Lord God. Pour your blood upon your people, Lord God. Let your grace and mercy go before them, Lord God. Let each one of us let go of whatever it is in this world that we might still be holding on to and we pray in each one of our lives thy will be done show us the error of our ways lord god we all fall short of the glory of the lord each and every one of us lord show us fix us correct us lord god we desire only your will in our life in jesus name in jesus name in jesus name bless each one today Bless each one financially, Lord God. Bless each one. Keep them safe on the roads, at the workplace, wherever they go. Protect their whole church family, Lord God, their pastors. Those that are preaching the word, Lord God, protect those men. Pray for the peace of Israel, Lord God. We pray for your chosen people, Lord God. We pray your mercy. Those that are in countries right now where wars are happening, your mercy upon those precious people, those precious innocent people. God, let your salvation move through these war-torn countries in Jesus' name. Jesus' name and Jesus' name. God bless you. God be with you. He loves you. Leave your name. We'll, we'll start a new list here, church. Bless you. Be safe out there. Um, may God continue to heal your bodies, those that are in need of a healing, that you would be touched even right now in Jesus' name, by his hand, in Jesus' name. God bless you. Thank you for listening. Remember your thumbs up, dear ones. I love you. Send your comments. You know we're praying for you. Amen. God bless.